Hey, hey, welcome everyone to this week's episode of the Amazon Files brought to you by Mommy Income. I am your host, Kristen Ostrander, and today we are just going to get right into it. We're going to talk about the qualities of the successful people in the world. So we don't have to sit here and wonder, oh my gosh, how did they make it so big? How did they have such tremendous success? And when I say they, I mean absolutely any they that you consider successful. Because we don't have to sit and wonder how they got successful. There's been studies done on this, and many of them do interviews and talk about the different qualities, what their rise to, I don't know, success or fame or whatever it is that you want to, to ask. They all have shared very, very similar things. And over the years, as success has been studied by um, psychologists and all kinds of different things, there's lots of conclusions that they have drawn over time. As a multiple studies on what makes someone successful. Can you create these qualities? Do you have to be born with them? Is this nature versus nurture? Is it a personality thing? Is it an actual industry thing? Does it matter where you were born? Does it matter how? And the reality is the studies have shown that these qualities can be cultivated in absolutely anyone. It does not matter on the planet where you were born whether you have money or whether you don't, race, gender, age, none of these things matter in whether or not you can become successful. This has been actually studied. So I'm going to just come to this. I've, I've gleaned some of this from multiple, multiple places. I love, you guys know I love research, right? Not just product research, but I am just a learner. I love to, like, other people are like, hey, let's watch it, binge watch Netflix. I'm over here like, let me read this article about this thing that I just heard about that I have no idea about and I want to learn about it. And then I start studying different things. I'm like, what are the characteristics, the qualities that successful people have? Because y'all, let me just be honest. I want to be wildly successful. I feel that I've accomplished a lot of that and I still want to be widely successful at my goal. Do y'all know what my goal is? I'm just going to be honest and tell you. I'm just going to tell you. My goal is to help over a million people become successful themselves. That's my goal. And so in order to do that, I have to study what this looks like. What are these qualities and characteristics that need to be introduced or refined or learned in order to get the success that we want. Now that looks different for everyone. Success for some people is millions of dollars. Maybe it's fame, maybe it's fortune, maybe it's freedom, but success can be defined in so many different ways. And we're not going to actually define success. That's something that you as an individual need to define for yourself. No one else can define your definition of success. And it doesn't matter what everybody else thinks, whether they think you're successful or not. Do you, do you have what you want? Do you feel successful? Because y'all, it's not about how many zeros are in your bank account. It does not matter if you have a million dollar business or a five dollar business. Success is something that you can define for yourself. But there's a lot of characteristics and, and personal development that we need to do to become successful, to not end up self-sabotaging ourselves or um, not being able to accept and enjoy success, which is a lot of what people can struggle with once they actually achieve their goals. They kind of don't know what to do with them. They think, now what? I better do hurry up and do something to destroy this. Or if I work really hard to get something, somehow it's going to be taken away. So I'm going to talk a little bit about some of these qualities of successful people. Because I think it's really important to, we all are going to have this ebb and flow, right? We have a lot of these qualities. Some of them we need a little bit more than others. So if you are hearing, you know, it's kind of a list. I'm going to explain a few of them and talk a little bit about that. But as you're thinking about these words, thinking about your own success, I'm going to challenge you to just pick one of these that think, okay, I need a little bit of work on that. Now, as I'm going through them, I'm always, I, I, I came to the conclusion, like I could use 
a lot more of a lot of these qualities and maybe some of them are hindering my future success. So I'm, I'm working on them just like you guys are working on them. So I just thought I would share these things with you because like what are really the sustainable characteristics, the, the qualities, the personality types, whatever it is um, that we can use to continue our success. One of the first things that, <clears throat> that I found, excuse me, among the successful people is integrity. Integrity. It's who you are and what you do when no one's looking. How you treat people when they have nothing to offer you. Integrity. Being a person of your word. Standing for what you believe in. Being kind. Standing behind your own truth. Integrity is a quality of the successful. Who you are and what you do when no one's looking. Courage. Bravery. Chutzpah. <laughs> Guts. Balls. Whatever you want to call them. <laughs> Being bold. Being, having courage. It's the quality of the mind that enables one another to encounter danger. Heart, valor, boldness, resolution. Able to face danger without flinching. Huh. I could use a lot more of that. To do the unknown, you must be brave. You must know that there is risk, danger, and fear and regularly face it. Be brave enough to regularly face risk, danger, feel, possible failure. Let's just rest there for a second. What is one thing that you have not yet tried because you're certain you would fail? Because you're scared you'll fail? Because you failed before? What is one thing that's, that you're holding yourself back from because you failed in the past? And you want to try again. But you're concerned, you're worried, you're fearful. Courage. Courage. Is that something you need to work on? Being brave enough to try it no matter who says what. Including you. Did you guys know that the number one hater that we all have is usually ourselves? Now we all might have some haters, may have people, maybe it's a mother-in-law, maybe it's a sister or brother, maybe it's a neighbor, maybe it's a, a friend, dare I say friend, a friend, if they're talking to you like this, probably shouldn't be your friend. People are like, oh, that's not going to work. Oh, you're going to try something else again? How's that going to work out for you? Didn't you fail the last three times you tried something? Remember those other failed businesses that you had? What about those? People that talk to you like that? Usually it's your own self. You're beating yourself up about something. You're giving yourself all of those words. Have some courage to tell your hater, <laughs> aka your in internal mean girl, <laughs> that she can be quiet. That's it. Failure is not going to kill you. <laughs> Unless, of course, you're jumping out of a plane <laughs> and your chute doesn't open. I don't know. <laughs> Seriously, though, all jokes aside, we've all failed at something. And did you die, though? You actually didn't because you're still sitting here. Courage. Courage is one of those qualities of the successful. You have to take risks. You have to realize that risks aren't going to kill you. They make you better. They make you stronger. They show you what you still need to learn. We are all in a learning process here. How about this one? Determination, drive, persistence, grit, firmness, firmness of purpose, making up your mind about something, making up your mind about something, being persistent, continue or repeated behavior supported by a belief that a specific result will come. Let's just do that again. Let's just listen to that. If you're in a place where you can close your eyes, sometimes we can focus more on meaning when we're, we're dimming some of our other senses to be present. So persistence, continually 
repeating behavior supported by a belief that a specific result will come. If I continue on this path, this will come. Determination. Knowing. Knowing that you're making up your mind about something. Have you made up your mind about something? Are you determined to get to a specific place, a specific goal? Are you practicing your repeated behavior knowing your specific result will come? Determination must be determined that you will succeed no matter what. Now that ebbs and flows. We have good days and bad days and days where we're like, oh my gosh, I don't know if this is going to work. I don't know if this is a thing, but the determination will come. Community. A body of people having common rights, privileges, interests, goals. Did you know that nobody does anything great alone? No one. People have coaches, mentors, bosses, friends, spouses, family. No one does anything great alone. You need help. You need someone to bounce ideas off of. You need support on good days and bad days. A coach, a mentor, a therapist, a community of people around you. You guys know what that feels like. Everybody does. You ever meet someone and you're like, oh, these are my people. These are my people. They understand me. They speak my language. They get it. These are my people. Even if you're an introvert and you don't love people and you'd rather just talk to your dogs, that's great too. But we do need to be collaborative. We do need input and insight from other people. Do you have a community? Have you met your people? Can you have conversations and feel loved, supported, accepted, challenged? You need a community to be successful. Discipline. Ooh, this is everybody's favorite one. Discipline. You can't just do whatever you want and expect to see results. Yep, mic drop. Did you know that? We all want that, right? Deep down, we're just like, I just want to be able to do whatever I want, anytime I want. Well, that's a possibility. But there's going to be consequences once in a while. There's going to be consequences for doing or not doing whatever it is you do. You must do. You must sacrifice. You will have to give something up. To obtain something better. That's the tough love, y'all. It's just reality. After many, many years of being in business, if you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always got. Tell me, are you happy with what you've got? Because if so, then keep doing the same things. But if you're not, if you want just a little more, or you want to improve just a little bit, or you want a little bit more time back in your life, You're going to have to make some changes first. Developing specific behavior by instruction and practice. Discipline. It's going to cost you something. I know this stuff isn't sexy. I know you want me to hear sunshines and rainbows and it's all going to be great and let's skip around on the yellow brick road. Well, I would love to for that to be reality, but it's not, you guys. It's going to take discipline and sacrifice, but it's going to be worth it. Because you're going to get the result that you're looking for. But you have to be disciplined along the road. Another quality of the highly successful people, whether it's in business or sports or any other place, is commitment to learning. Now, this is something I would never budge on. Commitment to learning. 
You can't continue to improve and grow and change if you aren't willing to learn and study new things. Always learn. Learn and practice and improve. Accept your growth and decide you can grow more. There's no such thing. I'm just going to drop this on you. Say it again. There's no such thing as a rival, y'all. Do you ever think of like, when are we there yet? Are we there yet? It's a question that never goes away because as soon as you get to the next destination, it's time to get to the next destination, the next goal. You want to continue improving and changing and growing and developing? Learn. Learn something new. Learn something different. Learn something that doesn't make you any money that's just for fun. Just learn how to learn. Enjoy part of the process. Because the process is longer than anything else. Optimism. Optimism. It doesn't come naturally to everyone, but it's part of the success journey that you need. Faith, belief, confidence, positively expecting the results that you're working for. Now, I'm not saying op- I'm not saying optimism has to be rose-colored glasses and then living with our head in the sand, thinking that everything's going to be awesome and we're not going to hit any roadblocks and it's all going to be, ah! you know, it's not like that. Believing that you can. Believing that you're worth it, believing that it's possible is all the optimism you need every single day to take the very next step in front of you. Believing that you can, that you're worth it. Positively expecting the result that you've worked for. Optimism is not always thinking that everything's going to be awesome. It's choosing to believe choosing to believe that the outcome will be positive. It's a choice. It's a choice. Awareness of yourself. Self-awareness is so important for growth, no matter what kind of growth. I'm just going to say this. Get off your phone, your computer, the TV, And just look around, observe sights, smells, sounds, your spouse, your kids, your neighbors, your teachers, the clerk at the grocery store. Be aware, looking, thinking, discovering how you interact with the world. Friendly interactions, a phone call, a text, a letter can make all of the difference. Being aware of your own self, being aware of your personality, the way that you see the world, just because it's different from someone else doesn't make it wrong. doesn't mean you have to mold and change yourself. But again, if you always did what you always done, you'll always get what you always got. So if you discover something about yourself that you don't like, Only you have the power to change that. Is it going to be hard? Yes. Yes. Let's just get that out of the way right now. Change is hard. The end. But it's not impossible. It's just hard. I know we don't want hard. We want to sit on Netflix and watch and eat popcorn and binge watch shows and have it be easy, right? But that's just temporary. Good results Good things don't come to those who wait. Good things come to those who work and pursue and are determined to meet their goals. Being aware of yourself, your shortcomings, your positive qualities, what you're really good at, what you're really bad at, and accepting that. And if you don't like what you see when you're looking internally, you can change it a little bit at a time. Maybe that's the next goal. Saying, I don't like to be such a worry wart. So I'm going to make positive changes to change that, to alter that a little bit. Patience. Oh, all these words, right? All these words, words we don't love, right? They feel hard. They feel negative sometimes. Patience. It ain't going to happen overnight. The end. Results 
aren't fast. And in this instant world where we have Instagram and Instacart and Insta everything, we set ourselves up for disappointment and failure when we're expecting that everything is going to happen overnight. It just doesn't. And anyone out there that you see, if you're seeing some amazingly wild success, there's probably a 10 year or more journey that led them to that place. Lots and lots of losses, financial and others, on the path to success. There's tons of debris that we've left behind. Broken pieces. But they're behind us. We've left them there. Behind every successful person is a trail of debris that they left there. Nope, don't want that. Leaving it in the past. Keep walking. Keep moving. Forward. Patience. The results that you get today, the results you have right now, today, whatever that is, whatever measure of success that you're experiencing right now is a cumulative effort of your consistent actions and choices over time. Your results are directly related to the efforts that you've been putting in and your choices over time. It's like an example, like we just had Thanksgiving, right? Like you don't gain 20 pounds on Thanksgiving day. You gain it over time by the habits that you have. Small habits are the sum of our lives. If you take stock of everything that you have right now, it's a result of efforts that you've previously put in. Patience. It's not always fun. But it's worth the wait. I want you to sit for a second and just think. I know this is hard. A lot of people don't think on their feet. Or it's really hard to recall memories in the moment. Can you think of a time where you've had to wait for something? That you've had to have patience because you just knew it was going to take time. Just think about that. Remember it. Think about the result. Was it worth it? Was it worth the effort? And finally, it's actually generosity and servanthood. These characteristics marked by the successful, the wildly successful. To serve is to love. To think of others as more important than yourself is servant, servanthood, and being generous. One of my favorite quotes of all time is from Anne Frank, no one ever became poor by giving. I true wholeheartedly believe that. Whether you're giving financially, you're giving of your time, giving of your efforts, giving of your skills, giving. When you learn, share. Look to give. Seek it out. It's not just for a feel-good, warm, fuzzy feeling. Abundance is everywhere. We all have an abundance of something to give to someone else. Scarcity is bogus. It just is. There's not scarcity. Everything is available. It doesn't mean it's going to be easy to obtain. It just means it's available. And honestly, nothing is really fully enjoyed until it's shared. You need others to be in on it, to share in your experience and your joy. And that comes as part of being successful. No matter how big or how small, seek to be generous. Generous with something. If you have more time than you have money, be generous with your time. If you have more money than you have time, then give away some money. Give away something. 
think about a time when someone gave something to you, whether it was time or money or advice or resources or a hug. Think about a time where you were deeply encouraged by someone else's generosity. How it might have helped you in life or in business in a time where you were needed it most. Generosity is a marker of the the successful people. So at the beginning of this, I challenged you to think about one or two of these successful qualities. I want you to think about which one you want to work on the most. Where's one of these you can say, I can slowly improve on this quality this week, this month, this year. I'm going to focus on it. Whichever one that you feel like that. And then I want you to also look at which one of these qualities are you really good at already and seek to continue amplifying those things. Maybe you're really good at connecting with people in in the community. Maybe you're very, very brave. Perhaps you're super disciplined or optimistic. Whatever it is, work more on that and keep it at the forefront of your mind. Write this word, whatever one of these words that you want to focus on, write it on a sticky note and put it where you see it every day and just let that one word roll over in your mind. You don't have to make a five point goal about it. You can just say, you know what? I want to have a little more discipline. What is one small thing that I can do to have a little bit more discipline today. That's it. it. Takes you all of 30 seconds to just contemplate that. So just write one word of the, one of these words and decide you're going to focus on that. Every day, you can ask yourself, what can I do today to add a little bit more of this into my life? Now, y'all, I know this isn't easy stuff sometimes, but guess what? Nothing is. That's why we're helping each other. That's why I get behind this microphone and this camera every single week. Really? It's because I'm talking to me. Because I need more of these. I want to be more successful. I want to serve more people. I want to help more people. In order to do that, I need a little bit more patience, a little bit more discipline, and a ton more patience. Y'all, I know you could be anywhere else doing any other thing. I don't take that for granted. I appreciate you giving me this time of yours. It's precious. It's valuable. And hope that you've been encouraged to make a little bit of a change because I know you have what it takes to be wildly successful, whatever that means for you. But we all need a little bit more. Maybe it's determination or courage or generosity or patience, but pick one. And just do a little more. I'll see you guys same time, same place next week on the Amazon Files.